What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber and today I'm just going to give you my thoughts on the LG G6 about one year later, especially now that the G7 Think Think Q is about to be announced on May 7th. Let's find out if you should pick up the G6 at its current 200 or less price tag on the used market. If you want to check out my full review, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as in this card that popped up. But today I'm just going to give you my thoughts on using this phone for a year and I'm going to let you know if I think it's still worth it in 2018, especially now that the new flagships are coming out or you may be considering the S8 or another phone from last year. Let's talk about the G6 and what I like and then I'm going to talk to you about what I don't like. What I really like about this is the screen. The screen, while it might not be the best screen on the market, that goes to Samsung, we all know that, but I have no complaints with this screen at all. It gets bright enough to use outdoors and definitely dim enough to use when I'm in the house with all the lights off. So no issues with the screen at all. YouTube videos, Netflix, whatever you're watching, really looks amazing on this screen. No problems with it at all. The phone is also really snappy even a year later. There's, there's hardly any lag with this. There's really nothing to complain about. One thing I really like about this phone is the waterproofing. In 2018, do not buy a phone that does not have some type of water resistance. That's just dumb. Even if you don't plan on taking this into the pool or something like that, just that peace of mind knowing that if you do drop it in a puddle or if you want to take some cool shots maybe of a waterfall or something, you don't have to worry about this getting wet and getting damaged. Some sort of water resistance is definitely worth it. Next, I want to talk about build quality. This phone is still an amazing build. Really, really no issues with it. Now, I do use my phone in a case, but sometimes I do rock it outside of a case. And if you notice there, I did drop it once, so I have a little divot, but really no other damage on this phone. So I think the build quality of this phone is still amazing. Definitely no problems with it. It's definitely held up really well. And now that we're looking at the back here, those cameras. Now the cameras are absolutely great. I do love this wide angle camera. I think that you get some amazing shots and you don't have to back up to Timbuktu to get some wide angle shots here. You just have to switch it. Now again, definitely check out my full review if you want to see video samples and whatnot. Just being able to switch to wide angle is really great. I really wish other manufacturers would hop on board a wide angle camera and get off the telephoto. Camera's great on this, I have no complaints at all. And if you know how to mess with manual controls, you can really get some stunning shots on this. Let's keep in mind this is just a quick one year later video. And would I recommend this in 2018? Definitely, I definitely would recommend this. Let's talk about a few things that I do not like. LG, you really dropped the ball here. I'm really disappointed with your updates. Well, lack of updates, I should say. I'm still on December 1st security patch and I'm still running Android version 7.0 when most phones are rocking Android 8 right now. So LG, you really dropped the ball on this. I know I, for one, would really highly consider your phones more over your competitors if you said, hey, look, we're going to release updates within a month or two of Google releasing them. You really need to do something about that. People want updates these days and you really need to step up your game. But that's besides the point. Even though it's still running 7.0, it's still snappy, no problems with it. I just wish I would get the latest updates. Another thing to note, battery life after a year has definitely decreased. Now I'll make it through about half the day with this phone. Is that really a big deal? No, this phone has wireless charging, not to mention quick charge 3.0. So charging this thing only takes half an hour and I'm really good to go with the amount of juice I can get in half an hour. So that's not really a big deal, but just something to think about if you are buying a used phone. So would I recommend this phone? Let's keep this short and sweet. Yes, I would in April 2018. Fingerprint scanner on the back is where it should be. Headphone jack is still there. Wide angle lens, primary lens is also awesome. You do have the quick charge 3.0 on the bottom as well as wireless charge. So you really have everything that's in current flagships right now. And this phone is still super snappy. Hopefully it gets even snappier with Android 8. Whenever we get that, hopefully that's gonna come soon. But let me know what you guys think about this phone in 2018. Would you still pick it up? Do you still own it and do you still enjoy it? Because for me, I use this phone on a daily basis still and I have zero complaints with it other than maybe the battery life drained a bit. But again, that's to be expected with used phones. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, leave some comments below and I'll catch you guys next time.